Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pla Addiction. Today I decided to show you uh, 10 of my CDs in my collection. So yeah, I got some uh, pretty interesting stuff. I hope you're gonna like uh, this new kind of episode. I want to show my whole collection eventually. So let's start with the first 10 I guess. So the first CD is one that I already showed. It's Avatar. So this is their latest album released in May 2016. And they, it's kind of a groove metal, um, melodic metal kind of vibe. And yeah, every CDs that they release, I find that they have a, a different sound. Uh, or anyway, there, there's yeah, their music sounds really different from every uh, album. And that's what I like about them is that you, you can't get tired of what they have. And what I'm showing here is uh, the art book inside the, the album, which is pretty cool. Uh, if I can get it in record eventually, uh, I'd get it uh, for sure. It's something fun to listen. Uh, uh, yeah, as you may notice, uh, I'm I listen to a little bit of different music when I'm in the car, more upbeat stuff, you know. Okay, so next up is Avenged Sevenfold, their first album called uh, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, the Seventh Trumpet. So yeah, this album compared to the other album that. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold that was released. This is a lot more, uh, you know, like, whoa, like a lot more rough. I don't know how to explain it, but it compared to their uh, uh, third album, which is, I find, a little bit more emo. And yeah, when I listened to that one, I was like, whoa, this is pretty good. Yeah, I like it. You can see that they, they need to practice a little bit more of what they're doing, but the music in general is good. What they've invented is good. So, and then there's their second album, Avenged Sevenfold, Walking the Fallen. So yeah, that's pretty, that's a good album. I listened to it that, in my car today, actually, and love it. Uh, the first song, which is, well, the second song, which is Unholy Confessions. I love the, the feeling of the song. And yeah, this is the album cover, which is pretty cool. Here it is. You can see myself in the reflection there. Uh, how did I do that? Here. Hello, Pla. <laughs> yeah, and this is a CD. They all look alike. And then, uh, here, I have their third album, which is which was my introduction to Avenged Sevenfold, uh, City of Evil. The first song I ever heard from them is Bad Country. And I was hooked, for sure. This is something that I like. One thing I've noticed, though, I looked up uh, Avenged Sevenfold on the internet, like the, the community, and there's a lot of hate for Avenged Sevenfold. I don't know why, though, because, in my opinion, they're good at what they're doing. Like, it's not... It's, for sure, it's not, like, the heaviest band. And, like, the singers sing... The singer sings in a different kind of way that other heavy metal band would sing, you know? So, yeah. I don't know why, why they hate, and I'm a big fan of Avenged Sevenfold. Continue to do your good work, and I should probably get Hail to the King uh, album eventually because it's a good one too, the, the newer one. Okay, next up is the fourth album of Boston, Walk On. So I actually repurchased this because when I was younger, I had this whole big collection of CDs, and for some reason, I thought, oh well, I don't need the case, so I'm just gonna throw away all the cases, and I've put it all in this big, um, this big. Uh, album thing and you know so I regret it now and I'm probably gonna buy back all the albums that I had for sure walk on is pretty cool it's uh, I love the medley that they got in there I'd be freaking create like I'd be so happy if I get their the record but yeah you know that's not gonna happen because it's so expensive and rare um, my buddy Jex has uh, told me something that would make sense why didn't they put the Walk On Medley on one side and the rest of the music on the other side or, or something like that? That would make more sense because what they did, did, they put half of the medley on the one side and the other part on the other side. So that's like a, a waste of, of a good song in my opinion. So yeah, very good listen, underrated album, I highly recommend it. Next up is an album given uh, to me by Jex, it's Cat Steven Icon. Uh, well, Icon is the uh, producers, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, Greatest Hits. It was, uh, I, I think I showed that on my uh, previous uh, video also. So it's a 
good album. I, I know almost every song on them except of Road Singer and Every Time I Dream. I don't know if those are covers or later songs that he created, but yeah, they sound pretty good and that's what I like. It's something new from a Cat Steven is uh, making this album great in my opinion. So next up is Chevelle. I admit that I didn't have a chance to listen to this album much. I listened to it once or twice. Uh, I love that um, song in there that... Uh, oh yeah. There's a, yeah, The Red. The Red is a good uh, song on, on this album. I, I love this the, the way Chevelle sounds. Uh, the way that, that Jax... Um, I'm always talking about Jax, sorry about that, but he's like my friend that I talk to music all the time. But he says that the guy sings like a male version of Evanescence. So yeah, I agree. It's the same kind of music, but a little bit heavier. And I, I love his stuff. It's like, oh! Oh, it fell! Hope it didn't break. <laughs> anyway, so this was Chevelle. Uh, so another album I got from Chevelle is La Gargola. I bought this in a pawn shop. I was like, oh, Chevelle, I kind of like their stuff. So when I popped it in, I was like, whoa, this is so good. The first three, all, uh, three uh, songs are so heavy. They, they know what they're doing, and I, I highly recommend this album. It's good. So the for, for, for all, first four tracks are Ouija Board, An Island, Take Out the Gunman, and Jawbreaker. So, yeah. Oh! Yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, but uh, yeah, try it out. It's a great album. Next up is Alex is on Fire, Crisis. One other album that I didn't listen to much, but every time I listen to it, what I remember is that it's it's really like fast uh, kind of music, like like of the early uh, two uh, the early two thousands, uh, two thousand six. So yeah, it's a great album. It's the singer from uh, CD in Color. That's his previous band that he was in. Totally different, <laughs> but it is a good one. And next up is Alien Ant Firm <laughs> uh, Anthology. So another one that I didn't listen to it much. Uh, I yeah, Courage is a good one. Wish is probably the first song that I listened from them, and that's the one that hooked me up. And yeah. There's an ant there. What else is in there? Um, Attitude. They got some good songs in there. Uh, good band in the in the early 2000s there, 2001. So there you go. So guys, this was uh, 10 of my uh, CD albums. I hope you like it. And I'll eventually show the rest of my album collection. I uh, just don't want to bore you with like 100 CDs at a time there. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the night. And have yourself a good weekend. See you next time.